showing you guys how to create an anchor.io game in Unity. So this is going to be part one. Basically, we're going to be doing the movement and also the scaling. So like when you get bigger, you go slower. So let's go ahead and get right into this. So first, you're going to open up a new scene. Then you're going to add a spear. We're going to name that player. Once you do that, you take your camera and you position position it right at the player. So I'll press F, go right along the Z axis, zoom out, and then select your main camera. Click Game Object, Align with View. Once you've done that, all you need to do is create a new script called Player Movement. Go ahead and open that up. Once you've done that, all you need to do is delete all this stuff and create a couple of functions. Let's go ahead and create all of the um, functions, like the start function and all that. So we're going to re-add these. So we're going to say public void start. After that, you're just going to add an update function. And then we can now get into the variables. Go ahead and add a float called a distance, so public float distance. And we're just going to set this equal to 1.0f, so which means a float. Okay, so next line, we're just going to say public bool use initial camera distance. Now, why are we creating this? We're going to set this to false. Okay, why are we creating this? So we can either have a custom distance, or we can have um, whatever distance we set when we play. So, um, right now, this would be the distance if I enabled the, um, if I enabled the use camera, initial camera distance, this is what be the distance. That's the distance that it would be. If I use my own distance, it'll be different. Okay, so let's go ahead and get right on to the next thing. We're just going to create a private float called actual distance okay next in the start function all we're just going to say is if use initial camera distance then I'm just going to under that we're just going to say vector 3 to object vector okay So vector three two object vector equals transform dot position minus camera dot main dot transform dot position. Okay, so that let's go and go over what we're doing here. So first we're going to get the um variables so our distance if we're actually going to use the uh distance that we set um all right and then we're going to have the actual distance and then actually we need to put something here we're going to put a float here okay and then we have our if we're using the used initial camera distance so if we're actually using that then this is what we're doing here so we're just going to well actually let me explain this so basically this is getting our position Next, we're going to say vector 3 li linear distance vector. Next, we're going to say equals vector 3 dot project to object vector comma camera dot main dot transform dot forward this is getting another distance um so basically what what we're doing and then now we can actually set the distance so we're going to say actual distance equals linear distance vector dot magnitude okay that was pretty simple right there pretty simple now we're just going to put an else um state here and then under that, we're just going to say actual distance equals distance. That's pretty easy. Okay. 
Now, we're going to create a, another variable up here called public float speed. So this is going to be our speed that we move. All right. Next, in the update function, this is the last thing we're going to say vector three mouse position equals input dot mouse position. Okay. After that, all you have to say is mouse dot position mouse position dot z on the z axis. So we're going to get the z axis, and then we're going to equals actual distance. So basically. When you're moving um, an object, you don't want it moving on all three axes because it's going to come to the camera and then you won't be able to see it anymore. So that's why we put this line here to where we stop that. Okay. Now we're actually just going to move it. So we're going to say transform.position equals vector three dot warp this dot transform dot position comma camera dot main dot screen to world point mouse position so in those two um brackets there or semicolons or whatever they are not they're not semicolons but anyway and then we're going to say speed divided by this dot transform dot local scale so i'm doing this by the way i'll explain it to you in a minute times two and then we're just going to multiply that by time dot delta time that's a lot. Now let me explain um, the last part that we did. Let's save it. Okay, so we're basically getting the mouse position, and then we're setting the Z axis part of this to be nothing, pretty much. The actual distance, the first distance to where it never changes. Then we're saying this dot transform dot position equals vector three, which is three points dot lerp. We're going to take this, we're lerping from this dot transform dot position to the mouse position. And we're gonna basically we're doing that, and then we're taking the speed, and then we're dividing it by the local scale of the object, and then we're multiplying by two, and then we're going to um multiply it by times dot delta time. Why do we do that? That we multiply it by times dot delta time because we want it to kind of follow along. That way we don't have it to where it's like our mouse. We want it to kind of slither along or um, go behind us just a little bit, lag behind. Now, let's see if this works. Go ahead and drag the script to the player. And we have an error here. Okay. So, what is this error saying? It is saying the divided sign cannot be applied to a float of a vector 3. Now, let's see why that is the problem. Let's go back over here. So, we have our speed. Let's actually see what line it is. 26, this line. That is good. It's not going to be too hard to figure out. Ah, oh, yes. This dot transform dot local scale dot x. We have to do it on the x axis or the z axis um, or the y axis, whichever. One actually works. So go back over here, click play, and now we'll have um, that. Nothing will happen at first. We want to actually use the initial camera distance, and then we're going to check the speed to be. Let's just do um, five. We'll see how that goes. Okay. As you can see, it works really well. So as you can see, it lags behind just like we want it to. Um, if you don't want it to lag behind as much, basically just multiply the time dot delta time by whatever number you want to. So the higher number it is, the faster it goes, the less it lags behind. Or if you just don't want it to lag behind whatsoever, just remove that time dot delta time. So that works. Now, what happens if we change our scale? Let's change our scale to be 5. And it's very slow now, as you can see. It's not as fast, which is what we want. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into basically um, our player manager. So that's our movement. Let's go ahead and create another script called player manager. This is going to basically manage multiplayer stuff later because we are going to do multiplayer. Um, but right now, this is just going to manage our scale. So basically, how many scale points we have. So let's just create a new integer called scale points. 
So this is basically how many we have collected, let's just say, for our leaderboard that we're going to use. Okay, so now we're just going to say in the update function, for now, this will be temporary. We're just going to say this.transform.localScale plus equals, we're going to say plus equals new vector 3. Okay. Then we're going to say 0.5f comma 0.5f comma 0.5f. Basically, we're going to scale it up as much as we want to. So this is basically a little bit at a time. So half a scale point, I would say, at a time. And then we're just going to multiply this dot time dot delta time. We'll actually do the scale points later. This thing is useless right now. Um, we will use that later. So um, let's actually make this instead of 0.5. Um, I tested it out before, and it's really fast, so we scale up really fast. So we want to scale up a little bit smaller, a little bit slower, let's just say. So we're gathering all the points, we're going fast, yay. And we're getting bigger and bigger. So that works. And that now will be it for this tutorial, guys. Um, it was a pretty short one, but... um. I'm going to be doing more on this series, so this is just the movement and all that. Next tutorial will be the points, the background, and a little bit of the um, GUI and all that for playing the game. And then after that, we're going to do stuff like um, the leaderboard or multiplayer. So um, multiplayer would be a big one that we're going to do. And yeah, so thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next tutorial.